With that being said, guys, Where is welcome the to the Casting Up Show! I meant to say. <laughs> Over to you, good sir. Tell us what's going to go down on well, the stage. Well, I'm just as surprised as you guys <laughs> are. Um, so apparently, we one man short today, so I get to taste the wings. So I'm not just playing chefy and being slave <laughs> to the food. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, chow some wings with you. So I'm looking forward to that. So, well, thanks again for that. But otherwise, I'll be here anyway, just off camera, cooking up some wings. And yes, welcome to the Capsicum Show. I'm going to let these guys take over and do it. We'll talk about the sources, uh, Venus. Yeah, it's now time for the Know Your Burn section. So, uh, Previous episode, we've planted the seeds and uh, showed you the right soil. Now it's been winter, mate, it's cold. So uh, we're going to need something like this to propagate it. Put your chilies in. Propagation, yeah. Because what makes a nice like, a little uh, vent here you can open and close to obviously control your humidity. And you get heating mats you can put on there so it keeps the soil uh, temperatures nice and warm for. So the rock, I can come into that. Why are you speaking of heating, mate? Can I go and heat up those wings? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were still on the intro. So, I've got those wings, Mark. I'll see you guys in a bit. Cool spot, you know, no. uh, Well, guys, that being said, uh, <laughs> join us for a minute, Jack yeah, Gav. <laughs> Telephone is that one. Yeah, then. Um, <laughs> You guys sit there, sorry, you guys didn't mean to interrupt. No, you never interrupt. No. Okay. So, so this, is again. Again. this is a Gavin. He's a professional ballerina and <laughs> grass cutter by trade. He takes care of all the grass cuttings on the OR Tumbo Airport, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Nah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, did I just take over there? <laughs> Go for it, Venus. <laughs> I believe it's the East Side Sides and Alty section. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's that? What's on the list? Uh, I believe I don't have specific medicinal facts this week. I believe I've got some surprise questions coming my way. Yeah, on last week's topic, you were saying 1.6 million sky was my food with your stomach. That's what the doctor said. However, I have to repeat that. Ed Curry eats three reapers a day. And you look sour to me. Ed Curry eats three reapers a day. Every day. At least three. Yeah, so at least. More. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think that's a general limit that? Maybe like not for everyone. It's like for like a certain type of young stomach or whatever. They said don't go over there. No. So, so what the doctor said, I was wondering about the same thing that Rinas is asking now. So what the doctor said was an average person, your stomach can only handle up to 1.6 million scovilles. The moment you go over that, uh, the scovilles are so high that your stomach will literally, for a temporary period of time, stop producing stomach acids. So if you, like let's say Mr. Ed Curry, on a daily basis, go, because if he eats three reapers a day, that is about, that's at least more than 6 million scovilles every day. Yeah. So that means your stomach doesn't have time to start producing more stomach acids before you jar the next yeah. six point whatever million scovels. So then your stomach is not supposed to digest the food that he's eating on a daily. But why is he so healthy? Why doesn't he end up in hospital because of those scovels? I think it could be different from person to person. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, that being said, what are these sources? What are we going to eat them on? What are we supposed to do? Why am I jumping to the idea? The ones I knew, we were doing the Johnny Experts challenge today. And then we obviously, me and Isa just got to add you. We need to do it. Look at all of us. That didn't sound right, man. I was just surprised. I was just surprised. He's got a happy ending for you. I can't believe this surprise. What are we getting this week? And Gavin, tell us, do you like spicy food? No, I love spicy food. Grew up in Durban. No, I love our chilies a lot. Can I ask you a trick question, Gavin? Why do you take a flat cap and fold it round? I don't like flat caps. I don't grab a flat cap. Old habits die hard. Got to be round. Okay, okay. What's happening on your side, Kermit? I don't know. UFC going, what's happening? We're considering maybe changing the date because it's better to maybe have it in summer. It's just going to be more enjoyable. Imagine trying to have a cat or have a thing in lungs and shaking and that's not going to be enjoyable. No, not in the cat. So we didn't think the date through. We knew we had to get the date, so we were willing to do it, but then we decided that. Maybe change it to summer and more enjoyable. I mean, I want to go in shorts and... And uh, enjoy the day in the sun, yeah. not sitting there like, oh, trying to get a bite and do this funny thing. And what's the plan for this week? This week? This week's over? I believe. No, the one in the oh, I believe. Yeah, we might go down to J Bay to go taste some Papa G sauces um, and go to maybe, what is it, the Turtle House Club there. Go see what they grow. And then back. So yeah, we'll decide on those USC dates soon. It must probably be, it must probably be August, September. At least in the sunshine, can be enjoyed, and afterwards we can go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it'll swim in the cold water, but the weather must be fine. Yeah, but just have a healthy dose of chilies before you get in the water to warm up from the inside. You see, you take some Johnny eggs, but... Yeah, down the bottle of reaper sauce, then go into the water. <laughs> Yeah, you've been in Cape Town. How's those waters there? It's cold. I've been over two weeks since there, so I'm fine. The thing people do tend to get cold uh, faster <laughs> than the uh, well packaged uh, goods. Yeah, because yeah, we've yeah, got a, it's like a insulation. Are you going to taste those sauces now, right? I believe so. Uh, no, we're just uh, waiting for the week. Before that, before that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like. If you had told me, I would have just thought and got some chicken wings. But before we start, so today it's not just tasting and reviewing sauces. Don't you think we should go over the uh, rules of the challenge? Now, as far as I understand, there's no, there's no specific on the box, no specific rules to the challenge. So, I oh, think it's more today's show. Are so, oh, these those same seven we did a while back? Yes. Yes. So, that's why I'm thinking. That's why I'm thinking. Because we've already done this challenge, it's going to be super no, for us to do it the that. same way as what we normally okay. do. So, let's make it like a proper challenge with rules and work out our own rules for the challenge. Okay. But let's not overcomplicate this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Now, the rules are going to be simple. The rules are going to be Who wants to make the rules? It looks like you might do it. That guy needs to drop a couple of drops in his eyes. No, no, no. no. He's, no. Gonna, he's <laughs> gonna do the eye drops <laughs> also. So but yeah, so no, just basic rules like most of these challenges has their rules. So the first source. After you do the first source, we got like let's say 30 seconds or a minute or so, no longer than that, but let's <laughs> Mm -hmm. So let's let's see. We're not going to worry about rating flavor and stuff so much today. Heat rating we can do. No, let's um, do flavor. I mean, Bravo is going to be new to this. So I'm sure you'll be our. Okay, so yeah. So let's let's take it from 30 seconds to a minute. So after you try the first source, you have to within less than a minute get to the second source. Because the whole thing with the challenge is, is the stacking of the so heat. So it doesn't help the heat subsides before you go to the next one. Yeah. You have to keep building and building. So we're going to start at the bottom or we're going to start at the top? No, we're we're starting at the bottom. Why don't we go downstairs? 
No, that's the upstairs. Is that? Is that? Yeah, it doesn't really work. Okay. You don't really taste the lower sources. Oh, yeah. So you start at the bottom because that's also yeah. how you stack the heat on top of uh, each other. Okay. And then at the end of the challenge, you have like a 10 minute period. Because okay. we're on the next level already, we're moving it from 5 to 10 minutes. Well, that's watering, but I think I'm so, <laughs> for 10 minutes, For 10 minutes after the sauce, you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. You must ride it out. Yeah, but 5 minutes are usually for your 16 million scope of challenges. And like 10 minutes is for your lower challenges like that. Difficult to say because we've got yeah. no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's something that's safe. Yeah, it's difficult to say, but this is that's amazing. Gunslinger, it's that was right. But let's estimate. Do okay. you know what peppers are going in this number six? Maybe we must speak to um, our, our guest there behind the camera quickly about what he's doing. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. 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 see you later. Yeah. Are we on one there? Yes, always. Okay, cool. Have a seat. See, the sauce is starting to melt in the bottle already, and this is sauce number four. Yeah. Ah. Rasta Boon in the house here with us today. Welcome, welcome. And uh, how did you get to the name Rasta Boon? Let me get something quick. Yeah. Yeah. Explain the backstory, and then we'll showcase what Rasta uh, Boon is about. A couple of years ago, me and some mates, that was how it goes. We were smoking. I had to make a bong out of a hose pipe and a spanner and everything. <laughs> and then I came up with who makes a plan. Rasta always makes a smoke. So Rasta who makes a plan to smoke. There we go. So that's where we got it. And then this is what we currently do. The we can make mugs. Okay. Nice clutch. It works very nice. You've got your nice little letter in there explaining how to clean it and how to do it. Okay. Works exceptionally well. Let's have a look there. It's got a nice. Every, I always ask there people the guy. first time they use it. Drink your tea. And, um, it's got a. Works on over there. It's got a good. Yeah. The last time I felt something like that was yeah. when I smoked the bottleneck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a bottleneck. No, 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 no. It's not a bottleneck. <laughs> but I didn't expect it to be that strong when it comes to. I'm not going to take the letter out, but there's even stuff about brushing your teeth and eye drops and stuff. So. By the time you get to work, no one's going to know you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know how we sound as well. You've got to educate them, right? You've got to know how to do it. Responsible smoking, yeah, yeah. brush your teeth. Definitely. Little clutch on the side. Yeah. Yeah. And the handle. Well, it's like a And do you think, do you think, do you think you could fill it with water and almost have it? Or a uh, bottle? Like? You know what I do? I put some, I, I put cold water in and yeah. some ice and then. Put it in the future. What about in this cool. area? No, no. no, no just that, I don't think so. I haven't tried. I mean, there is. It should you be would right? probably be able to fill it with water like yeah, that. Then, then you're going to have to just hold the clutch on closed and it can't yeah. be used as a clutch thing. Yeah, then it's not a clutch. Yeah, you just seal the clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like one of those small, small adapters. adapters. Yeah, you just pop it in there. That's like seeing you on Plug your cup. You throw your cup into there. Plug your cup with my little cork. Yeah. Well, that should be hard to do, man. Remember, guys, it's a cork, not a. Uh, oh, uh, that's a bit <laughs> tiny though. Yeah, there you go. There we go. No, that's what she said. Dude, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for thanks for this, dude. We yeah, really appreciate it. Yeah. Hope you guys can use it. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, we'll be stopping here some at the grow shop here at the grow and grow. So we're gonna. Rasta Boon, and then hopefully you can listen all on the travels that we do with the markets. We'll hopefully take some of them to the markets for you guys. Yeah, because they go. Um, Isak often goes to some of these markets and mm. check what's going on. There's actually quite a lot of markets these days, huh? Yeah, for the fact that uh, all the lockdown and all this stuff, there's a lot of markets. Eh? Yeah. Cannabis markets, not so much. It mm. seems like most of the cannabis market organizers are a bit, are a bit kind of iffy that the cops will rock up there, but. I've seen with some of the markets, the cops just randomly rock up and they walk around and check, oh, do you have marks on, are you social distancing and whatever, and it's uh, two, three minutes and then they're gone. Mm. So. Yeah, but there's also the whole registered and unregistered event there. Mm. Yeah. So like with the USC, it was, we, we, we registered everything. Yeah. So no one could come there and say, yeah. say yeah. anything. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's the whole process. Maybe the ones where they just rock up and there's too many people in the space where they don't have these mm. plans. Because with those plans, you've got to have COVID compliance and freaking health and safety. Mm. And, uh, safety. But hey, on a positive note, where can the people find these mugs? They're going to find them here at Go and Grow. 
Yeah, and you can check me out on Instagram. Pop me a message. Okay. And I courier them right across South and, Africa. And if they, if they, yeah, I mean, like sometimes we do that with the malls. You guys just now want to see them. Go to go and go to or go to where you want to stop them. We'll see we'll the we'll do a couple in this week. Yeah, Tiny Town's got some. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Look, look. So we'll, put, we'll post the link up there, guys, in the center. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just in one yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's special. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah, see yeah. enough space. Yeah, actually, we'll squeeze it. 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 So now, so we have to, before we start, we have to quickly go over the rules again because uh, Mr. Broadway was outside there. Yeah. So, already breaking the rules. <laughs> so the basic rules. Okay, so the basic rules, we're going to talk about uh, heat and flavor rating out of 10 for your personal. But you have to, in less than a minute, you have to move on to the next source. Okay. So your little review out of 10 must be quick. Because before the burn subsides, you must already yeah. have the next source so you can stack. And then after yeah, you I'm already doubting this decision. So <laughs> I, I don't need normally four of you. So I don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you already signed up for this. And then. 10 minutes after all the wings, for 10 minutes you must try and not have anything to drink or eat and you must just ride it up. If you can't for the 10 minutes, that's fine, but then you didn't make the challenge. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Comes a white pepper and it's not for me. Okay, so what were the rules there? Like I didn't listen? So you do you go first source, yeah, and then in less than a minute you must carry on to the next source. Mm. Sir, I grew up in bombs. Mm. By a lacquer, this is about how I would have it mm. as a lacquer sauce, but if well, this is our first one, it's only getting hotter from here, and that makes me nervous. Because this. <laughs> That's your feeling. That was my my first, feeling. I'm going to give this a good mm. 5, 6 out of 10. Yeah, this is our habanero sauce. So, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If it's getting hotter than this going forward, we're going to ship bricks. That's all I'm saying. So, okay, out of 10, I'd say about a 4, 5, 4, 4. Taste, up there in the 5, 6s, maybe. Taste for me is a bit higher. I enjoy the taste. Yeah, I'm a, it is actually quite, quite easy on a 8 even. Mm, but in the heart, like I say, I'm worried if that's, if that's my place. <laughs> I would have normally given that about a good 7 or 8. No, no even in a 5 or 6, that we can go up with these. Thanks, guys. Lord Jesus. No, that's for me, the first one for me is out of 10 is the heat rating is a 1. Okay, just, just, um, just to make you guys feel better, I'll move it up to a 1.5. No, <laughs> you see now. About, see, I care about you. Guys. Sorry, bravo, it's about two weeks ago. Hmm. What, the weekend before you, uh, before you came, we... Um, we had a sauce thing going. And when I hit that first sauce and it was so damn hot, I was burning it. I was like, oh, we're only on one. Okay, but this, mm. this may be a two now. Mm. In hot heat. Mm. If the previous one was a six, if I started there with six, this is oh, a two. Oh, this is so okay. nice. Okay, but mm. yeah, I'm tasting no, heat. More this one. Yeah, 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 this is like mm. a barbecue. Yes. I've noticed mm. this challenge. Number one is a Sting, two is a flavor, three is a sting, four is a flavor, okay. five is a sting, six is a flavor, yeah. seven is a sting. My first time on the show, so I'm not picking, but now the first one was hot, I could feel the heat. Second one, I'm still feeling the this first one's heat. Mm. Yeah, that means it's stacked. But yeah, mm. and that's how the challenge works. You must always still feel the previous one's heat when you go to the next one. Mm. Just lost it there. Well, that is if I'm Mr. R. Mr. R. The R and R. go. Don't touch your eyes now, man. That's why there's toilet paper. First touch the toilet paper, huh? then put that toilet paper in your eyes. Which one? Which one? Okay, very good. Now the heat level is going about at two and a half, three maybe. 
No, no, it's it's not it's not no, it's gone down for me. Which one? Yo, but it's, yo, first one's still hot to me. First one's still hot to me. Yeah. Now I'm tasting some heat coming through, so I'm going to put it on the side. Yeah. Look, that is my sense. This sauce by itself is for me about a 1.5 to 2, but now that it's stacking with yeah. the previous ones. Woo, that's nice. Mm. I don't even want to do a flavor rating because I haven't, we have tasted absolutely no <laughs> terrible sauces in the last while. Real and lots of efforts going on. Okay, so it's a trick for the next sauce guy. Like level number, or sauce number four or five. Yeah. You must just put vinegar and chili. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, there's like, like, like salt and petrol. So, yeah, vinegar, chili, salt and petrol. No, it must taste horrible. Because <laughs> Okay, no, the truth is we haven't tasted anything horrible. No, we haven't. But no, one of the guys was just screw with us and throw in. Yeah, so no, I know what you're saying. Now you're giving me ideas. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> like that old Leon Schuster movie. When they yes. Like that old Leon Schuster movie. Yeah, and then they put the drink and the in there. How's the burn there by you, uh, uh, Bradley? It's, it's actually good, right? The first one was still the hottest, and the rest have been cool. Like I'm worried. The second one was... Uh, <laughs> I'm getting a bit worried. No, the second one was almost no burn. The third one, I can taste burn, but it's on a similar level as the first Guys, one. Guys, if you're in the Pretoria yeah. area, get down to Irene, number three, Main Road, and come and get some wings. Am I wrong, Bravo? Are mm. there some? There are some for the... Yeah. Come and get them, and come do the challenge for yourself. The yeah. sauces are yeah. All the sauces we've tested up to date, there's a bottle or two here. Some of them have honestly gone home with us. You can, buy, <laughs> you can buy the challenge box at the Go and Grow shop. Mm. Mm. That one is amazing. Yeah, the flavor on mm. this one. Yeah. But again, the burn is lower. It's not easy to find it. It's actually really likes it because it's a Trinidad. It's like hates that. Maybe it's an under scorpion that I hate. That is something to write down about. Mm. That's super nice. Yeah. That's it on my design? This is four. Feed, yeah, on a feed is like it. It is also the training that's seven parts, but it's a dula, it's just a donker. It's a giant flag. It's a dog in this moment. Very nice. Very nice flavor. Very good. That's absolutely amazing. Are we on the roll again? I'm going on. Yo, you're looking a bit rough there. Keep it going. I'm going again. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. The question no, no, is you can't just throw one little drop. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Get in it, yeah. Yes. This one's gonna eat again. It's a heat one and it'll be a flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on this one. Mm -hmm. This this bit that tastes like shit. Mm. Tastes like shit. Oh it's nice. He doesn't know. Yeah. But you taste yeah. it I don't like the scorpion taste. And you get a, you, later you get a burp with an aftertaste of the scorpion, and tomorrow you'll get another burp with an aftertaste of the scorpion. Okay, that's all to me now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. We're eating for the <laughs> extra. Sure. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, but they, yeah, you can feel some heat coming through on that one again. That one's hotter than me. Okay, so if the first one was number six, giving that a seven. But the flavor is seven on the heat then, right? Seven, no, that's about Now, if my previous one was six, my first, so I'm using six as the baseline. Putting that at a six, this one is then a seven. That, this is hotter than the first one. This one, this, this previous one is about a five. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but you gave the first one a one. So you you Yeah, I've been playing this game for one while. Yeah, it's a bit hot. Yeah, it's a bit hot. Right, right, let's do it. Ooh, this one's nice. Now it's starting to stack. It's amazing. Good flavor, flavor. Mm. Mm. We'll, uh, we'll ask when we're done, we'll ask the audience members there on the mm. side whether they want to come and challenge. Like, <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, no, that was hot. <coughs> now it's climbing at 8 already. Three. And there is only one higher, and that's a 9. So, 8 is hot. Master Chops. Yeah, that's Master Chops. Nice flavor.
You might thought, I don't know, possibly. But we walk outside and we find one of these rings outside there where we were driving. Yeah? It looked like a hand grenade. Um, <laughs> <sighs> okay, so, okay, I'm about to go blind and then. <laughs> Luckily, I need to feel for the last one. Sorry. Yeah, I don't need to find you, but. Oh, I'm kicking endorphin rush now. I know that last one. I'm worried for the last one. Oh, no. This is not the last one. What? <laughs> yeah, this is not the last one. This is the last one of the box. But you know we always have a surprise at the end. Oh. Motherfucker. Yeah, there is that fucking endorphin. Oh, sorry, <laughs> excuse my language. Endorphin rush. Oh, oh, there it comes. <laughs> yeah, see, there's two of you now. And four of you. Okay, I've got dice in the Shit. Okay. Are we going big? Mike, should we think twice? <laughs> Let's go for it. We, we change our mind. I'm making this. Yo, this man's crying again, so. <laughs> With last week's outside nose. challenge, it was just shed tears. And my nose is feeling like the Victoria of Okay, it's my running. eyes are devoid of tears, else I must be crying. They've all evaporated. <sighs> sure. So, well, Venus, you know, that must be funny, but I can't oh. act me. Oh, no, Venus, explain to them. <coughs> so, the one that we've got for the surprise today. Johnny Expert calls it the Foo Bar sauce. Renus, what does Foo Bar stand for? Fuck that beyond all recognition. Uh, how are you feeling there, bro? I'm badly. <laughs> <man. laughs> Whoa, you okay? Oh, bro. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. That's a sign that the medicinal value is kicking in. <laughs> See, okay, so last week I could have just the final oh, challenge. Now. This week I'm going to bow out of the final challenge. I myself. Yeah. I'm literally my son. Shitting flames. <laughs> I'm also dead. Like, 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 like a backwards dragon. Yeah. Like a backwards <laughs> dragon. Good morning, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah! So it's a <laughs> dragon without brains. <laughs> no, man. We're only on level 8 now. You always put up, man. <laughs> no, that's a good really pick up thing. I always do that. Okay, you anyway, know what? I would love to. How are you feeling? Do the final challenge. Like I said.